protecting them. Former Iowa Congressman Dave Loebsack just left Congress a few days ago, but certainly has seen the divisiveness on Capitol Hill during his tenure there. He joins us live tonight from Mount Vernon with some of his perspective of what we're seeing. Uh, Congresswoman, I certainly wish we were talking under better circumstances. Let's get started with what's your reaction to what we saw and are seeing on Capitol Hill tonight. Well, first of all, I'm very happy that uh, all the sitting members of Congress that you interviewed uh, had exactly the same reaction, which is this is completely unacceptable. You know, protest is fine. Uh, we encourage that, actually, you know, as a, a form of expression. But this kind of violence and mob rule is totally unacceptable. And I will say that I'm probably more sad than anything else that it has come to this, that the four years of the Donald Trump presidency where many of us were worried that this kind of thing might happen, but really couldn't quite believe it would happen. Now it has, and uh, it's really unbelievable. We've got to get this situation under control. And I have every confidence that the Capitol Police, National Guard, those who are trying to secure the situation will do that. You mentioned you were fearful something like this could happen. Why do you think this happened? Well, you know, look, we've had four years of a president who's incited exactly uh, these kinds of uh, sentiments, feelings, behavior, grievances, all the rest. And, you know, now we've got a situation where he's really, uh, you know, not accepting the results, uh, the constitutional results of this election. And uh, he's got a lot of supporters out there in, in this country uh, who believe, like he does, uh, that uh, the election was stolen and therefore none of this is legitimate and they have every right to go to the Capitol and try to intercede and, and prevent the proceedings from happening. They are going to happen. Joe Biden is going to be the next president of the United States and Donald Trump was defeated legitimately uh, and he'll be out of office. What does this say about American democracy? Where do you think we as a country go from here? Well, as somebody used to teach about politics of, of other countries and saw this sort of thing happening in other countries quite a bit, I took students to places where this has happened. Uh, I never dreamed it would happen here in the United States, uh, but it has. Uh, I hope that what comes out of this is that we have a real reckoning uh, and that we look back on the last four years, we saw what we see what's happened. And I really would like to see the folks who are contesting this election uh, in the Congress. I'd like to see them withdraw their, their, their uh, objections to the, uh, to the election. I'd like to see us go forward and just put Joe Biden in. He's a legitimately elected president. Uh, just accept the Electoral College and not continue on with the charade that the president wants us to, to continue on with. Former Iowa Congressman Dave Lopesack, thank you so much for your time, sir. Thank you. Now, our digital team is keeping tabs on what's happening in Washington and providing updates online. Let's check in live now with local reporters Jarek Andreski from our digital newsroom with some of the images coming from the nation's capital. Jarek. Yeah, Jim, our digital team's been on top of this since the situation escalated earlier on this afternoon at the Capitol. You see here some of the photos that we have available for you online at ourquadcities.com. We'll, of course, continue to update the situation right here on Local 4 News throughout the evening, but you can also check on ourquadcities.com for even more content, more information as this situation continues to change and develop. We have responses from President-elect Joe Biden and President Donald Trump are up right now for your viewing. And we also want to hear from you, the viewers, on what you have to say about all this. You can join in on the discussion on the Local 4 News, uh, Local 4 News Facebook page. I'll be back in about 20 minutes with some video that we've been gathering online on social media that's making the rounds, as well as some of the comments we've been hearing from, from the viewers at home commenting on the situation. Reporting from the Digital Newsroom, I'm Jarek Andreski for Local 4 News. Jarek, thank you. We saw much